again and welcome to In the Christmas Kitchen with Pen. Now, I'm back on banging on about vegetables again and colours. I, I just want lots of veg and I want lots of colours. Now, you may remember, you may not, I adore kale. And I like creamed spinach. And I thought, creamed kale oh, will that be a bit too much so I'm going to show you how I make a creamed kale and spinach so I've got my kale that I have rinsed off I've got a few blocks of frozen spinach that I have defrosted and got rid of most of the water I've got some panko breadcrumbs and some oil the top. I have a little Worcestershire sauce, some lemon zest for a little zing, some, did I say, Can I kosher salt, a little bit of mozzarella, some grated grand pandano or parmesan, and on the whole I have some cream that is just warming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you over to the hob so you can see what I'm doing. Right, as you can see, I've got a little bit of oil in my pan and once that gets hot, I will be adding my cream spinach. Cream spinach? No, I'm not. What am I talking about? Once it gets hot, I will be adding my kale to it and sauteing it. is just on a very low heat just getting just slightly warm and that's all I need it to do right my oil is hot so I am just going to dump my kale in now if you've got a lot of kale you'll need to do this in batches I have removed the stem from the kale I'm using Cavallo Nero instead I have removed the stems from the kale because they're very tough and chewy and I've left the kale quite quite big really so I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to this and we're going to cook this till it softens, starts to wilt and that will take about two or three minutes a little fresh nutmeg into the sauce. Nutmeg, Christmas, it will make sense really. Right. right that is sorted down quite nicely. So I'm going to go in with our defrosted spinach. I mean, this will, the spinach, it'll add some more body, but it'll give colour too. And that's what I want. I want the colour in this dish. Right, once this is nicely mixed, has wilted down so so much <coughs> I'm actually going to put it into a smaller pan yeah. there is a method to a smaller pan because this meant one in a little while this will go over the or under the grill so smaller pan does make sense right. <coughs> so We'll just get this all mixed and, well, just nicely combined <coughs> and come back to you. And yeah, frozen spinach does look like glass. 
look at that beautiful colour. So now we're going to go in with our cream and um, what do you add? nutmeg. And we'll turn this right down. This is bubbling away. And we're just going to mix that all in. And then we're going to go in with our other flavourings. But to be quite honest, that looks nice now, doesn't it? So, go in with a dash of Worcestershire sauce. Dash is how big you want your dash to be. The lemon zest, and keep some of that back. The Grand Pandano or Parmesan cheese. I mean, hmm. This dish was quite healthy till I added the cream and the cheese. And it will just look stunning. For getting an idea of the flavours that we're achieving. And now I'm going to go in with the mozzarella. You could use gure if you have it, but I don't, so I'm going in with the mozzarella. It will melt and go stringy, so that's absolutely fine. Stir that all together. messy pump. Ha ha ha, that's what. Right, and now I'm just going to go over with the panko breadcrumbs. I'm going to switch it off. Go over with the panko breadcrumbs just to give us a little bit of a, a different texture. A little bit of oil. Could have added some um, chili to this as well, but I'm thinking, well, it's Christmas dinner. I don't want chili. Right, and now all I need to do is to put that under the grill for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll be back when that's done. Right then, it's got a nice top on it. Golden, and there it is. Now that's going to be a little bit too warm to eat at the moment, so I'll let that cool and then I will give it a taste. Right then, let's taste test. Oh yeah, it's got a little crumb on top. And it's piping hot, so we have our creamed cavolo nero or kale and spinach. I should have left that a bit longer, that is piping. But, that, yeah, look, that is nice. Mm. The spinach, that nutmeg that I put into the cream really works well the, with the spinach. And the Cavallo Nero, well that has a, a medium taste, it's got more 
bite. So I really don't want to eat it. Well, I do want to eat all of it, but I really shouldn't eat all of this because it's for our dinner. But on your Christmas table, another mm, veg that you might not have thought of. So, thank you for watching this episode of In the Kitchen with Pen. And I shall see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.